Hi everyone, this is The Unspeakable at Innerscapes Art Studios. This is my palette for today. I'm using up old paints. And today it was very noisy on my porch while I was painting, so I have to do a voiceover. I'm doing a swipe, and I am not going to talk you through it this time. Instead, I am going to read you something. I have told you that I've done many different healing practices and spiritual practices. And a long time ago, I was a dancer. And before I would dance, I would sit and get very quiet and then read a poem. What I would do is empty myself so that something could move me, not me move me. And I would get very, very quiet and then read a poem and see if I could allow the poem to move me. So today I'm going to read you one of my favorite poems that I used to read before I moved. This poem has so many meanings and I would try not to literally interpret the words but just allow the images to work inside of me without too much thought, hearing, sensing, and feeling. Also, this poem is from Versions of Rumi, and it's translated by John Moyne and Coleman Barks. So I don't really know if I'm offending copyright rules by reading it, but if I am, I will take the video down immediately. This poem is called The Diver's Clothes Lying Empty. You are sitting here with us, but you're also out walking in a field at dawn. You are yourself, the animal we hunt, when you come with us on the hunt. You're in your body like a plant is solid in the ground, yet you're wind. You're the diver's clothes lying empty on the beach. You're the fish. In the ocean are many bright strands and many dark strands, like veins that are seen when a wing is lifted up. Your hidden self is blood in those, those veins that are lute strings that make ocean music, not the sad edge of surf, but the sound of no shore. Thank you so much for joining me. Drop me a comment. Please subscribe. And I will see you soon in the next video.